You parked your car and ran inside the hospital. You came inside the VIP room while breathing heavily and the first person you noticed was Jungkook sitting on the hospital bed while his bottom lip was bleeding terribly and hands were bandaged. Mr. John looked at you and came near. We need to talk. What happened to him? You looked at him terrified while he sighed and looked towards Jungkook who was sitting like a statue staring straight expressionlessly. Doctor will explain you everything. But what actually happened? He walked out towards doctor's room while you looked at Jungkook before going as he slowly turned his face towards you making your heart cry. Suicide attempt? You asked him not believing what he just said. Yes, and it would even get worse if he didn't get got treated. And unfortunately, there is no special treatment for this. He looked at Mr. John with teary eyes. What kind of mental illness he actually has? He's diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, and this is the worst disorder in terms of mental illness. But why did he harm himself? He looked at doctor while he opened his computer screen and turned towards you. People with borderline personality disorder may experience intense mood swings and feel uncertain about how they seem themselves. The feelings for others can change quickly and swing from extreme closeness to extreme dislike. Not only it affects them mentally but physically too. A person with BPD is highly sensitive to abandonment and being alone which brings about intense feeling of anger, fear, suicidal thoughts and self-harm. How can a disease like this doesn't have any treatment? You asked him while he sighed and leaned forward. I didn't say it does not have any treatment. Of course it does but not any specific. It needs therapy and if worse we work on medication. But he looked at Mr. John. He is not ready to take any of them. Please doctor, I am requesting you find some way. I have already lost my wife and a son. I don't want to lose him now. This broke your heart to the core. You never knew how terrible their lives are. Your wife and son? Mr. John nodded. Yes, they both died in an accident and right after that, Jungkook's condition became like this. I didn't found out earlier that he was suffering from depression and just because of my negligence, he's like this. He started to cry while you tried to console him. Don't worry, he will be fine soon. In Jungkook's case, he has isolated himself from everyone and he needs someone whom he can get extremely close. And I think as a wife you can do it better than anyone. We'll give medications on a regular basis but you should become his therapist instead of anyone else. We'll give you our proper guidance and if he can get a little better, maybe he can be cured. You looked at Mr. John while he looked at you pleadingly. I will never forget your kindness, please. I will try my best. You came back home while with Jungkook and still he same. Whole ride he was silent and didn't utter a word. He sat on the couch while he quickly went inside the kitchen and bought him a glass of water. You might be thirsty. You said extending the glass at him while he looked you for a minute and then took it and gulped down. You sat besides him. Why did you hurt yourself? You knew what was you doing and where it can lead you to but still you gathered up yourself because now you can't see him like this, not after knowing what he has been through. You can't leave him like this. Why you care? Because now I'm your wife and I can't see you hurting yourself. He started to laugh making you a bit scared. And I think I've made already told you to never hope for being my wife because I won't accept that. Does it make you happy to push all the people away from you? Don't you care about their feelings? Why would I care about them? Do they even care for anyone? For real? His eyes started to show anger. You won't see it until you give them chance. Until you stop pushing away them and try to share your problems with them. Okay, I will. I will give them chance. But who's gonna love me? You? It was hard to look in his eyes as they showed loneliness, fear, anger and empty. He slowly nodded. Yes, I'm gonna love you. 
Then let's see if you still want to love and stay with me after this. He pushed you on the couch out of blue and hovered above you. It was unexpected for you as you never knew he can do go to this extreme. But when you looked in his eyes, you realized it wasn't him. His eyes were filled with lust and even he was unaware of what he's doing. Children used to run and play. This is what you call love, right? Then let me show you it tonight. At least you should know what you are choosing. Tears filled in your eyes but you didn't break the eye contact. And what if I say I will still choose you? You saw the burst of emotion in his eyes. It's like those words worked like a miracle on him. He quickly got off from me and stood up. I've chosen this already. Whatever you would do, I will still choose to love you and stay with you. Now it's in your hands if you want to hurt me or put it. Don't put your expectations on me, I might hurt you. He walked upstairs in his room. You won't. I won't let this happen again. What are you doing here? He said raising his brow when he saw you coming inside his office. You didn't came home today so I came to meet you. See I bought some food too. You said lifting the bag. You walked near his table and smiled. I go, why do you work so much? You should sometimes take a break you know. He was looking at you, a feeling of being loved when someone cared for you and the feeling that no matter how many flaws you have that person will never leave your side. He was experiencing all it's this. It's not the dinner time if I am not wrong. He said looking at the amount of food you unboxed on the table. Yes, that's why I don't bought much, you know. Just like snacks. He chuckled lightly making both of you surprised as he himself couldn't believe. He just laughed. Wow, you laugh is cute. He looked down. Come, let's eat together. I'm hungry. He closed his laptop and sat on the couch beside you. Here, try this one. This is most favorite snack eaten by people from Seoul Street. And you won't believe but I literally stood there for one hour in that line just to get this. Do you like it that much? You can't imagine how took is my life most delicious thing in the world. Again, he chuckled. You were feeling so happy to be able to make him smile. It's hard to see this side of him and you even you were trying your hardest to bring this side of him so that he can become normal. Months started to pass and you could see a bit difference in Jungkook's personality. He started to open up a bit and he liked to spend time with you. And especially when you tell him your weird stories that make him laugh, holding his stomach. But this is not easy. He still doesn't have any control on his emotions. He sometimes got too hard to handle. You even got physically hurt so many times, but he don't do it purpose. Really? Yes, I just took a baseball bat which he always keep in his restaurant and broke the windows and his glass tables. He literally exploited me. I worked hard for his restaurant and he refused to pay me. Then I stole his money and ran, but then I came in front of your dad's car. He was listening to you carefully with curiosity. Did you get got hurt? He asked worriedly while you shook your head no. Then your dad came out and he helped me. He released a breather relief. You are brave. I like that. What about me? Don't you like me? He said pouting. No, I don't like you. You look dim in disbelief. How cruel, he giggled. I am not cruel. I choose to love you over liking. Your eyes got moist. You placed a soft kiss on his forehead. Thank you. 
for proving me right for not disappointing me he pulled you more closer to him resting his head on your chest as you both were cuddling in bed always stay with me like this and thank you so much for not giving up on me i promise i will love you till my last breath Let's see if I saw you eyeing at any other woman, even by mistake. I promise you will see the most dangerous side of me. You both laughed at it.